beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be getting into another purchaser pass. And I'm doing this one because in my last purchaser pass, which was about two-ish weeks ago, I'll link it up here if in you missed it. But uh, in that video, I had so, so, so many of you um, down in the comments wanting to see these videos more often. A lot of you wanted to see them once a week because I know other channels also do them once a week. And I, I figured because this is something I've never done, you know, I've never put two of them so close that we, we would just kind of inch in, see how it goes and do one every other week. Um, and, you know, just kind of get a feel for it, see if you guys like it, do you still like the vibe and all the good things. And for those of you that are newer here, you know, maybe you don't know kind of what this video is all about. Basically what it is is us going through and quite literally talking about new launches. And I'm going to tell you if it's a purchase for me or if it's a pass, you know, if I like it, if I don't, why? And kind of running through, uh, albeit sometimes my shady opinions, okay, sometimes I'm feeling some kind of way, like today. And I just like to go through, I like to give you that that kind of um, initial feedback on things before I've even tried them, okay? But really, I just like to judge things on the internet. Um, and, and, you know, just kind of kind of pull around with some new releases. So if that sounds like something that you're into, again, hang tight. We're going to get into it here in just a second. But before we do that, per usual, I just want to give myself a little brief introduction. Hello, if you might be new here. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. My time here in good old northern Michigan. Hey, the Great Lakes State. Hey, what's going on? I just really felt like being like a highlighter today. Like I just, whew, I needed the world to see me and to know that I was, I was very awake. So actually I'm not, I'm actually, I'm actually quite tired, but I think I've hit that point where you become so tired that you're officially like awake again. Like I've just, I've crested that moment. Um, so I just, I wanted everyone to see me and know that I <laughs> live in the Great Lakes state. So hello, Northern Michigan here. If you, if in you, you didn't know that seven, seven thirty ish AM my time here in good old Northern Michigan. And then also let me just, let me just adjust my lower lumbar pillow. You guys, I need, I need all the squishy things. Okay. I got, got this back situation. I just need my pillow, but uh, it's like Sophia in, uh, in the Golden Girls. If you never saw her, she was always putting a pillow behind her. <laughs> That's me in real life. Um, but if you haven't, you know, heard me talk about it, um, really quick here, I also would really appreciate it if you would go over and follow me on Instagram because I am still trying to hit 10,000 followers over there. And uh, I'm really working on growing that platform. I'm growing it organically. I'm growing it with you guys here. And it has been going so, so well. I'm upping my content constantly. I do reels, makeup application, little mini makeup reviews. I do makeup inspo, plus size fashion, regular photography stuff. And then there's also like the day-to-day the -day portion of Instagram, which is where I tend to hang out. It's where we unbox stuff in the office. We talk about stuff. It's, it's really it's really just where I sit in my office with you guys. And I avoid work for as long as possible by doing and talking about everything I can think of, <laughs> okay? Like I like in my day-to-day. -day. And then once once we leave the office, we go for walks with the dog. We hang out. We go to the grocery store sometimes. Um, and it's just, it's just a good time. So, you know, like I said, follow me. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it um, because I, I want the swipe up feature over on Instagram. And oh my God, there is a freaking cat hair. I just literally just saw it right into my gloss and then like I felt it stick. That is rude. Okay, that is so rude. Okay, so all I had to do was wipe off all the gloss, but I got the hair, so that's exciting. So I'm just going to add a little bit more gloss here. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb uh, in hot chocolate, hot, hot chocolate. Um, so this is what I'm wearing on my lips with a little lip liner from KKW. And uh, for those of you that don't know, by the way, everything I'm wearing on my face will be linked down below. I can't link the hoodie because I bought it somewhere like on a, on a sidewalk sale, like multiple years ago. Um, but I do link, you know, jewelry, makeup, the whole works, anything you want to know that I'm wearing, I will link it down below. Also, just as another little side note, I just want you guys to know, I take great pride in the fact that I matched this eyeshadow <laughs> to the sweatshirt because I just really feel like I need to be so orange. And, uh, I just want to put it out there. I'm wearing that LA Girl palette. We talked about this in, I think it was like testing drugstore makeup, which I'll link up here. Uh, it was like, you know, newer releases and whatnot. And this is the LA Girl Keep It Playful palette in foreplay. And it has some of the most beautiful, fun fall colors in it. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm wearing on the eyes. Like I said, everything will be linked down below, but I just had to shout her out because like y'all, this shimmery orange with this sweatshirt, like, come on. Come on, okay. All right, so let me just get comfy here. I just gotta let me just like lift my leg up. We just really we, we gotta, gotta get comfy, okay? I gotta I gotta just feel the moment. Um, and the first one we're gonna talk about is just a real roller coaster ride for me, and that would be the new Makeup Revolution and Friends collab. And can we just talk about this for a second? Because guys, I <laughs> I have talked so openly with you about how salty I feel. Like I feel some kind of way when it comes to Makeup Revolution, and I do try. Like I I, I try really hard to keep an open mind, okay? Like I just. <sighs> 
I try not to prejudge them on the fact that I have bought so many collections and they were all absolute hot fire shit trash garbage and I feel like <laughs> in this situation um, the, the first thing that I noticed I, I just I saw the packaging and I was just like eee! like I needed it I wanted it okay they've got the little coffee house cups they've got the couch um, they even have a little mirror with the little the little door frame the little eye frame looking thing behind it and I freaking died <laughs> like my like my heart and soul was just <gasps> it removed itself from my body so naturally okay uh, me being me I'm a very visual esque person like I'm that person if I go to a restaurant um, I have a really hard time ordering food if there's not like a picture of it like I like to order I like to order eat and exist with my eyes um, and, and then I kind of like read and I'm like ooh, there's mushrooms in that like I didn't see them in the photo but like ooh, there they are like in the fine print um, I'm one of those people by the way I hate mushrooms um, but I'm one of those people okay so naturally what happened just like in that example right you get the food you got the mushrooms you, uh, you gag a little because you didn't actually read it um, and in this case I also didn't exactly read it because it was also <laughs> in fact makeup revolution um, that friends is collabing with and so naturally I shed a tear I gagged because I, <laughs> I I can't buy this because I feel like makeup revolution as I've said before they have just done me so dirty so damn dirty in the past that I cannot allow okay I cannot and I will not allow um, you to taint one of the absolute all-time best shows of, of my existence like th th this is one of my um, one of one of those things in my life that friends like it is up there like in my list of all-time top favorite five shows uh, I would have to say friends is on that and I know okay like I know some people want to go to fight look at me I'm, I'm game face okay because uh, I know that some people will fight me on that but I and don't get me wrong okay did they dethrone like the golden girls no <laughs> no they did not okay because golden girls <clears throat> that is my supreme being the moral of the story here is that I love friends I love them so much but I will not I will not allow them to be tainted by makeup revolution all right so next up let's talk about one that I think is just so exciting and so like I've gotten asked a couple of times in the comments and I'm so happy to hear people talking about this because I think it's underrated and that would be the launch of the new L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation in a powder and for those of you okay for those of you that have not um, tried or are not familiar with the L'Oreal fresh wear foundation it was one of their best launches of all freaking time I've tried it it is a beautiful beautiful foundation it has an amazing um, at least I haven't worn it in a while to be fair but when I wore it I remember taking photos in it and just thinking like this is such a beautiful natural looking foundation on my skin like very very everyday wearable just easy to apply easy go-to kind of foundation but uh, with this I'm just really excited because not only do I like the formula of the original foundation but I'm also really excited because as of late as you guys know I have been really into you know applying like my regular liquid foundation and then using a powder foundation like this with a little extra coverage to set the entire face down like you know just just set my whole face not not really to use it um as a foundation by itself but just as like an added kind of extra coverage setting powder and so for me I'm like I said I'm really really excited I cannot wait for this to get here we will definitely be talking about it um and I just wanted to let you guys know that because I have had questions and to that I say oh hell yes honey booby baby child doll face y'all better get ready because I am just gonna whoo -hoo -hoo, I'm gonna slather it up on this face I'm so excited all right so here's one actually that uh, we can talk about I don't know what the lighting is doing it's probably because I decided to look like a you know fucking fluorescent pumpkin today um but the <laughs> the lighting is gonna be so fun in this video can't can't wait to try to fix it um but here's one we can uh, touch on really briefly i may or may not already have this in my possession but this is a new launch from elf and this is their new flawless brightening concealer and essentially what this is it's a uh, nice lightly buildable um brightening concealer you can use it to highlight your face it has hyaluronic acid vitamin c and it retails for five dollars but really all i wanted to say with this concealer um you know i'm just kind of using it as like a stepping stone to get to my point which is that if you saw me unbox it over on Instagram I went through um, I want to say last week and I went on their website and I picked up a ton of new stuff this included their new putty blushes um, and just really a ton of formulas I haven't tried from them so really I guess this isn't like a purchase or a pass this is more like hey I purchased it <laughs> now we're gonna see if it's a pass um, if, if it's actually good or not like if you guys should spend your five dollars on it because at this point I already have and I think I I think I might have bought it in two shades if I don't miss my guess so we'll see if it was a waste if it was good I don't know but uh, yeah stay tuned for that video let me know down below if you're excited for it because I so am okay like I'm very excited and uh, yeah I'm just you know kind of putting it out there preemptive vibes boop boop it's coming next week subscribe turn on your post notifications if you haven't yet okay so I'm not trying to be shady I, I mean I'm pretty much not trying to be shady but 
maybe a little bit shady. Uh, but I just have like a like a general consensus, a general question, if and you will. And that would be, uh, the, 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 this is still like last I checked, the year 2020. And I know that we got some Jumanji style shit going on. Like I'm waiting for the little monkeys on the motorcycle. Okay, toot toot beep beep. Um, to just like ride by my house. But I thought that the shape tape thing, like that, that whole situation with Tar, I thought that already happened. Okay. Um, and then here I sit scroll, scrolling through my Instagram one day and this popped up and I actually bookmarked this because I was like, what the hell? But it says um, that available at QVC that there is now the Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer and uh, and it's 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 a thing that uh, that Tarte is coming out with available exclusively right now I think at QVC and at first I was like oh okay like maybe maybe they came out with a new concealer that's great I love new formulas. I love testing new things. But then I went ahead and I scrolled up a little bit because I was like, wait a second, this doesn't look <laughs> at all different. Like, you know, I, I go back to the picture and I'm like, this looks surprisingly enough exactly like, you know, Tarte Shape Tape. And it even says Shape Tape on the little container. And so naturally I, I catch myself going like, okay, I fell down some bleachers <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. Um, and unless that really like, you know, shook some shit loose, I'm a little bit confizzled as to how they're, they're launching this packaging. It's the same thing. And I'm not, I'm just, I, I'm not really sure. Like, I, I feel more confused going into this launch than than anything else. But it does say down in the description for anybody for anybody that wants to know. Um, it says that this features a built-in eye cream to provide up to 24-hour moisturizing uh, for the skin for skin that looks hydrated and youthful, never dry, cakey, or crepey. And which, by the way, those are like the three top claims that people that hate the original Tarte Shape Tape. That is what they say it looks like on their under eye. They say it looks, you know, dry and cakey and just really not good. Um, and a lot of people were wishing that Tarte would come out with like a hydrating version. But the only thing I can come up with with this is that maybe, you know, they figure based on research or reviews or whatever that maybe people outgrew the other version. And so now they're trying, you know, to like relaunch this, like this is going to replace the other because otherwise this packaging, I mean, like it makes no sense because I mean, if you think about it, if you're going to create this product and keep this one, wouldn't you, you know, design a whole new packaging for this one if you plan to keep both? Like that, again, that's the only thing that makes sense to me because otherwise, you wouldn't have them in the same you would split them apart and make make them make them different I don't know maybe that's just me um so I could see them maybe phasing out the original tape shape what <laughs> the original shape tape um and having just this one that could be a possibility but uh yeah I would, I would definitely be interested to hear your guys's thoughts on that like what, what do you think of the original are you curious about this and how do you feel about the packaging did it confuse you because dear god okay now this one we're just going to touch on really briefly because I'm oddly intrigued by it. Um, it, it looks like James Charles. It's a, it's a little bit of a, of a news bomb, as they call it on Trend Mood, and it says that uh, James Charles is going to be dropping his own makeup line, which I have to say, I, I am feeling, I feel, uh, you know, multiple ways about this. So I've said this before, um, but but I think that there is room in the beauty sphere, in the beauty space, there, there's really room in any space to create your own version of something. Like, it, it doesn't matter if there's already a hundred or a thousand versions of it. It doesn't mean that you don't have something to offer. Like, it doesn't mean that you don't have something, um, you know, unique that you can kind of throw your head in the ring with. And I definitely think with James Charles, he does have that. He does have, you know, yes, he's problematic. He's had his issues, his scandals. Wow. And for me, it's, it's kind of different because, you know, regardless, of the drama and all of that like if you know you have your own opinion of him trust me I have I have an opinion too um but regardless of that I just feel like he does have something so different to offer to the beauty space because I mean you know like it or not again with all of that aside he is a very very intelligent you know young man in terms of his artistry and, and working with things and formulas and curating beautiful things like just very aesthetic things he does such a good job on his own looks on other people's makeup and I think that just as a makeup artist he has something very beautiful to offer and I can definitely see going forward in a collection from him or as far as a makeup line goes I could see um, some very beautiful formulas coming from someone like him someone that um, he's you know he's very well versed in what he likes and how it works and he's not the type of person that um, that's only been on one side of the spectrum you know he, he's been on both and I also feel like too because of his like online situation um, he really is in a, in a unique position there because he can draw a crowd you know like physically well <laughs> back when you could do that um, but he could draw a crowd to a mall he can draw a crowd online to an e-commerce and that right there also puts him in a very unique position because um, not only will he be able to sell and produce the numbers but he'll also be able to have feedback from multiple people multiple everything all across the sphere and I, I just feel like you know this don't get me wrong the collection could totally bomb and I could be way 
way wrong. But I think it is very interesting to see something like this coming from him because it makes complete sense to me. Like, I, I would completely expect it, you know, regardless of if it's now or five years from now, I would see this. And I just think going into it, like, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what he launches because he does have um, more of the artistic side of it. Like, he's not just on, on, on like, the backside where you never see him. He's very upfront about his artistry, what he does, and color, and uh, really producing things that speak to him in that way. So I, I'm actually very intrigued to see what he comes out with, and uh, I, I think it's actually going to be beautiful because I think that, again, the, the textures and things that he enjoys, um, as far as, you know, colors and things like that, I think it is really beautiful. So I, I'm very intrigued personally, and uh, I would really love, really, really love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. What do you think? Um, do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to flop? Thoughts, opinions. All right, so hold on just really quick. We're just going to take a little, little gander meander right on up to this one. And it says these are currently available um, from Winky Lux, it looks like. So I'm assuming on their website. But these are their new cream blushes. And I am sorry, <laughs> but if these are not absolutely beautiful, stunning, like 100% chef's kiss beautiful, I am just like head over heels, like hats off to the master at how gorgeous these are. Um, these are their new, uh, yep, cream blushes, as, as I said, and it says these are infused with uh, Carnuba, uh, Carnuba, Carnaba, okay, um, infused with that and vitamin E for a smooth, blendable result. They give a natural finish that gives a royal flush of pinks and reds, perfect for a radiant flush of color. You can use your fingertips for a light application or an angled brush for a pop of pigment, and they retail for $20. Uh, again, according to Trend Mood, I don't know, I didn't check for myself. And and really, this isn't like a purchase or pass moment. This is like 100% like it's going to be a purchase. I'm go going to get it um, because I, I really just need one in my life. And I don't know when I'm going to get it. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I want to make sure that, you know, if and when I pick it up, it fits the video and I'm not just trying to like, you know, jam it somewhere that it doesn't belong. But uh, I can I can definitely see me picking up one of these, just, mm, just getting get my little hands on it. Um, and then also being really upset when I have to use it because it's so beautiful. Uh, I just, I, I really, I really, <laughs> I really feel like I need one. Okay, so really quick, you guys, I'm just going to <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Okay, uh, let's just talk about it. So uh, I feel like in every one of these videos, I, I always end up talking about ColourPop and like a good experience, a bad experience, something I love, something I absolutely hate, you know, so on and so forth. And I just need to say, in this video, we're going to talk about the ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie collab, obviously. Like, let's just talk about the beauty news in the room right now. Okay, hello, elephant. Because um, I... Oh, I do not have enough, <laughs> enough good things that I could say about this right now. Um, like in terms of the packaging, well, we're going to talk about the product and then the purchasing thing. And then also make sure you comment down below if you picked it up, if you got like in the queue and like all of that, I want to hear from you. But I want to just say going into this from the moment, <laughs> the moment I saw this launch, I thought two things instantly. Number one, I love it. I have to have it. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Followed really closely by number two. Oh my God, this is going to be such a shit show. When I tell you, okay, <laughs> when I tell you that those two thoughts were literally instantaneous in my brain, because, uh, you know, Cook ColourPop, they're not Cook Cook okay. Um, ColourPop isn't exactly known for having, like, the like the most smooth little transitional launches. Um, and, and this one, I, I didn't expect to be any different. I was like, oh, my God, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Uh, but also, I'm ready for it. Like, bring it, bitch, because I am here. I am, like, I have, like, my little, what are those, what are those things? Brass knuckles, okay? I've got my cyber brass knuckles on on my keyboard. It's like, Arr! I am ready for you, okay? You're not going to beat me in to this this little woodsy fantasy that we've got going on okay ain't nobody gonna be messing with me on this day on this keyboard okay don't don't even try it um so that that was number one okay the, or well i guess number one and number two because I, those thoughts hit me at like a ton of bricks also i just want to add uh, to that kind of briefly this is the first time i've ever looked at a color pop launch and i liked every single item in the launch um like, like i mean these are actually items that not only do i like them aesthetically as far as the colors but i also love these formulas and i think that they all go together beautifully and when she because I watched her reveal video obviously Christy's reveal video and when she was talking in that video about you know wanting to make sure that she chose her favorite items I can't tell you okay how excited I was because with ColourPop and I don't know if this is just me but I feel like every single time they go to launch something okay they launch this palette this kit this whatever but they launch all this crap there's always <laughs> crap. That was really sweet, Paige. But they launched these kits of things, and I feel like there's always one, two, three items that I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, why why, why am I looking at this right now? Like, for example, okay, this is the first time that there hasn't been some random little pot of glitter that I'm just like, stop, what, the, what, what am I gonna do with a pot? What? 
get out of here. I'm not, I'm not arts and crafts, okay? This isn't, I don't need this like as, as sprinkly glitter for a Christmas tree. Get out of here with your little pot of glitter, okay? I don't need it. Um, or like some weird little Sahara, um, Sahara dry little, you know, liquid lipstick situation. Like, absolutely not. Okay, we all know that that is ColourPop's worst formula. And anybody that wants to fight me can fight me, but I'm sorry, it is so true, okay? Um, and I love ColourPop. Like, I'm, I actually have in my possession the Baby Yoda palette. And that was an absolute beautiful palette. I love it so much. Their palettes are great. Their, their textures and, and, and their, most of their formulas are so, so good. But that, <laughs> that liquid lipstick <sighs> makes me kind of violent because it sucks all the moisture out of my face through my lips, okay? Just, it's like SpongeBob. When you take him out the water, he just becomes a sponge um, and like <clears throat> gasping for water. That That is my lips when I put on <laughs> those those little liquid lips. Um, so, so this collection for me, not only was it like so aesthetically pleasing and I love where she was coming from, the direction, the vibe, like everything about this was so like point on for me that I knew I had to have it. I was just like, yes, I am here for this collection, the, the whole thing, right? So game day comes, okay? It's time for her palette, which <clears throat> by the way, as a side note, um, this actually launched on the 12th, I believe. Yeah, November 12th. Um, Wanna know who was on the ColourPop website November 11th? <laughs> this girl, because I was convinced, and I mean convinced, that this launched uh, November 11th. So here I am sitting there looking like a little twit um, with the ColourPop website pulled up over here. It literally says in gigantic flashing letters, Rob, Beauty Christie, November 12th. It says it right on the thing. And here I am. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Like I'm <laughs> I'm sitting here waiting <laughs> for this collection to drop because I'm dedicated. I'm going to get it again. Did you see my little cyber brass knuckles? Okay. Like I am ready. Um, except I was ready over 24 hours early and I had to just X out and go on with my life when I realized, because I'm me sitting here clicking things. I'm like, what do you mean? It's not live yet. And then I finally, <laughs> for the first time in an hour or two, uh, actually read the damn thing that it said November 12th. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so I left and I came back the following day and I did in fact, end up purchasing the entire bundle, which again, that's, that's great news. I'm very excited. Obviously, by that time, there will be a thousand reviews out. Um, but I just wanted you guys to know, not, not only the backstory, because I think it's funny that I'm an absolute twit, but I, I just wanted you to know that I did manage to pick it up, and I am I am so, so excited for this. I think it's going to be beautiful. I think the formulas are going to be amazing, per usual, especially with, you know, ColourPop and uh, their, their eyeshadows. I really love them. And also, just really quick, did anybody else choose to purchase this or go on the website? because it was so smooth. Like I, I truly didn't believe there for a hot second that I was even on the ColourPop website because it went so well, it was so fast, it was seamless, I didn't have any weird glitches and it just like overall the entire experience was so, so good start to end. Um, it went live for me at one o'clock, it was one o'clock p.m. obviously my time, it's 10, 10 a.m. PST or whatever. Um, but as a Midwesterner, that's one o'clock. And uh, it, yeah, it went live at one o'clock. I was literally checked out by 101. Like it just, boop, I went into a queue and I got out of the queue and I was I was done and I'm like what the hell you guys didn't try to you know reroute me you didn't put me back around I wasn't like you know walking in through some weird queue where I had to sit for an hour I, I you didn't take it out of my cart when I was trying to check out like I just I, I genuinely didn't know how to react to all of the awesome um so I just want to say wh whatever y'all did over there at ColourPop for this launch okay could, could we maybe do that going forward because this was leaps and bounds ahead of anything else I have ever experienced like on your website during a huge launch all right now on to another one just really briefly here I want your guys' thoughts on this as far as like the colors, the color story, whatnot. But this is the new Wayne Goss palette he's releasing for the holidays. It's just a little six pan palette, just like his other one. And uh, it has in it like one peachy shade. Well, you you can see what's in it. Um, and then obviously it has that bright little pop of blue, a couple of grays, a black. As for me, of course, you guys know, or maybe you don't if you're new here, but I will definitely be picking this up. I, I think to date I have picked up or supported um, Wayne Goss in I think everything that he's done. I have several of his brushes. I have his entire lip color collection, the lipsticks, glosses, and the liners. I, I actually, I love them. I wear them all the time. Um, I have his blush collection, his other eyeshadow palette, his pencils, all of it. And um, I, I think for me with Wayne Goss, what I really appreciate is that I feel like he offers such a different approach and perspective to makeup. And he is one of those people that when they curate and create makeup, he's much more in it for quality and for the investment into people. And it's not just all about the dollar, the return, that quick money, quick money, the rollover um, that we see from 
a lot of other like bigger brands, kind of like the, you know, the Tarts and the Too Faced and um, people that when they curate, you can tell that it's all about that investor and the money and, and keeping it flowing versus in his situation, um, he, you can tell that when he curates things, he has a specific vision and even the, like the group of people, his target demographic, I believe he says is women over 40. You can just really tell that like reflected in his makeup. Like you can tell that when he curates stuff, it is formulated for everyone. He never wants any, any body, any, any person that, um, that the beauty industry would typically leave out. You know, the people without perfect skin or that are not of a certain skin tone, this, that, the other. He wants everybody to be represented and represented well and get to feel beautiful about themselves. And I just love that about him. I love that he's such an honest, um, really kind of, more of a grassroots kind of guy. And I really, I really appreciate that about him. His artistry is beautiful. It's very natural. And I'm, I, yeah, I'm very excited. Like I said, I will be picking it up. Okay, you guys, let's just talk about it. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't ready to be this this upset. I forgot about it. I saved it in my phone and I just saw it and I was like, mm, like instantly angry all over again. Um, so let's just talk about it. So for those of you that don't know, I've even, I've already mentioned them in today's video, make a makeup revolution, get all makeup revolution. Um, makeup revolution, they copy other brands. Like that's what they're known for, right? Like they, 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 they don't possess one original thought of their own. Um, all they really know how to do is like go behind successful people with like really good launches and really great ideas and kind of copy them. Um, and so now they've decided that like the makeup game, like that wasn't a enough for them. And so now they are um, t taking that and calling it Revolution Home, and they have taken it upon themselves to also create a candle collection, which, my God, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't just know it, um, this candle collection sure does seem an awful lot like Jackie Ina's newest candle collection, which, just as a side note, I, I have one <laughs> sitting right here. It was literally right behind me. Um, this is a repurchase of Cuffing Season, which smells so good. Oh, I got lip gloss on it. Um, but this Oh my god, it smells so good. This is, I think, out of her entire first collection, because I bought the whole thing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me unbox it. Um, but her entire candle collection, it smells so good. It's so unique. Like, her candles are just, I, I literally can't say <laughs> anything other than to, to explain. Like, when you picture quality in a candle, these are that. Like, the the everything about them, the evenness, the burn, the smell, the the fragrance, the aroma, like, the aeration of them. Air, aeration, rather. Which, just as a side note, actually, before I get into that and these twits. Um, I just, oh my god, it makes me so mad. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know too, I did pick up, like I said, the first round of candles she did. I repurchased this one. And then she also just came out with um, her her new collection, which I think was her nude collection. And uh, that one had like four new candles in it. I picked that up as well. And trust me, stay tuned over on Instagram because when those come in, y'all know we're going to be sitting down. We're going to have like a good old huff party. And I am so excited. Um, that's what we did with the first batch of these. It took forever, but it was so good, so worth it, and we all just sat there and like basically huffed candles together, and uh, it's it's well worth your time. So definitely be over on Instagram for when I get the other ones in the mail. Based on all of that, uh, by the way, if you can't tell, like it's it's really unfortunate. Like it, it really strains my soul to have to tell you uh, that these candles are a no for me, dog. Like that that's a big old no. Um, and uh, even double down one more than that. Like I just want to know if there's anybody out there that maybe works at this company, Revolution Pro Makeup Revolution, whatever you guys, whatever Revolution. Okay, you guys want to be spinning on when, when you answer this. Um, I'm just curious, can you guys wipe your own ass? Or like, do, do you need help for that? Like, do you have to copy somebody else? Like, every day when you get up, are you just like, I need to find somebody else so I know how to use the potty? Like, which button do I flush? I'm just curious, okay? Because I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting next level shady. Like, th this for me crossed such a line, I can't even tell you. Because, it, you know, you're already copying makeup. You've been doing it forever. And th that for me, like, I, I could compartmentalize that. But now you just attacked my candles. You attacked my Jackie. And you don't attack them can't. I'm telling you, just don't do it, okay? They're too good. You just don't do it. You don't do it. And she's such a freaking fantastic ass woman. You don't, you just don't do it. It pisses me off. Don't do it, okay? No, go away. Go away. And oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Like this is this for me is one of the hottest makeup news in the world. We only gotta stay here for a second. But for those of you that don't know, get your cabbage patch moving because Alta is bringing in some hourglass. And oh my god, you guys, the level, <laughs> the level of excitement. Okay, like think about it. Just think about it. Ooh, being able to get hourglass and drugstore. Like I'll be able to get literally two of my favorite products. I use them today. My hourglass freaking veil setting powder and my Catrice HD full coverage. Like, are you kidding me? Being able to get my favorite things drugstore and hourglass. Also, by the way, can we talk about the Ulta points? Like Ulta's point system. Oh my God. Like, let me just, let me just send up all the kisses and the hugs, the X's and the O's. Um, 
because it's gonna be so good. Like, th this is major beauty news, and it says, um, starting this month online and in stores. Like, soon, you guys! Freaking soon! Um, and I'm just, I... Mm. Okay, th this one just like got me going all kinds of ways. Um, and I just want to know, like, am I the only one? Like, I threw a straight up party, like a dance parade for this. Um, because I, <laughs> I just, I need it. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Moral of the story, I'm excited. Oh, oh okay, one, one that I want to touch on. I'm, I'm trying to speed these along. This video is getting a little bit long. Um, I can, I can just tell based on how long I've been talking here. But uh, also from Milani, last week we talked about their new blushes. And this week we are going to talk about their new color fetish shine lipsticks because oh <laughs> do these not look beautiful they are just so riveted the packaging is so beautiful and uh, it says on here that uh, this is a sheer to medium coverage it is ultra moisturizing balm like lipstick with an 85% blend of nourishing oils leaving lips moisturized with a lustrous pop of color the creamy lustrous shine high comfort formula wears like a lipstick but melts into your lips like a lip balm uh, available $8.99 in 12 shades and all I want to say after that is yes please Please, ma'am. Yes, please, ma'am. Uh, because I'm here for it. Like, I love, <laughs> I love Milani so much, like, on a spiritual level, um, especially after seeing uh, this packaging. And I, I know I've talked about them a thousand times. Hell, I think, didn't I just talk about them in my month end favorites? Which, if you didn't see it, I'll link it up here. Uh, because there's some stuff I've been loving uh, from them. They're little lustrous matte lip crayon things. So good. Um, but this freaking lipstick, like, it just gets me feeling all the things. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm here for it. And oh, you know what? Maybe I might, you know what? It's almost to the point where I'm going to have to like go on their website and do what I did on Elf where I waited and I waited and so they launched a bunch of new stuff and then I just like, <clears throat> I dove on it and before I know it, I had this huge cart full of stuff for a video. Um, it, it's almost there for Milani. Like I'm going to just be hopping on there. I'm just going to pile all this crap in my cart and before I know it, we're going to have a new Milani video. <gasps> oh my God, wouldn't that be just so good? Oh, I'm so, so excited. And you know what guys? Let's go ahead and just end on, on this happy little quite colorful note here. We have Kylie Cosmetics and The Grinch collaborating and they're not just doing it on uh, on just an eyeshadow palette, which I have to say, um, the eyeshadow palette I, I actually don't hate. Like I don't I don't know what's happening. Like I'm I'm looking at it and aesthetically. I'm kind of here for it. Near the end, too, I saw something I was really interested in. These are the shadow sticks, and it looks like there's a group of four of them. I don't think you can buy them separately, but I really like the colors. They look really beautiful, and uh, just overall for me, like, this collection, I'm kind of intrigued. Maybe it's just that this collection, um, maybe it's just that it doesn't involve, like, I don't know, leopard glamour shots, like, you know, the, the porn, like, seductress glare <laughs> that we were getting in the last video when we talked about this, um, well, about Kylie Cosmetics, rather, because I think at this point, like, I would probably welcome any anything. I hate to say it, okay, but I would pretty much welcome anything uh, after that situation because mm -hmm, it, it kind of scarred, like, my heart, my soul, definitely my eyes. Like, my eyes are permanently... Uh, uh. They're jagged, okay? Um, so I definitely think, you know, with this collection, I'm very intrigued. Now, does that mean that I will necessarily purchase it? I don't know. And I think for me, one of the things, or one of the reasons, rather, that I completely disregard Kylie Cosmetics is because the shipping takes so unbelievably long. Um, like, it takes so long that I, I just quit ordering from her. Like, I haven't ordered anything in, oh God, I, I couldn't even tell you how long it's been, truthfully, because the, the last time I ordered, I distinctly remember, it took me like three and a half weeks to get my order and the time before that it was over four weeks so we're talking like a month damn near a month okay and I, and I know with ColourPop because there's like oh ColourPop and Kylie like they're basically the same thing which I agree they are um but I feel like going into this um again that's my opinion nobody sue me okay but they're just very oddly similar especially if we're talking about that little Sahara ass drying liquid lipstick they are the same level of Sahara let me just tell you um but I feel like with Kylie it just takes so long like even longer that for me than it takes to get my ColourPop, it takes for me to get my Kylie, and I just, I have no desire for that. Like, I'm a review channel, and if I can't even get it, like, in a decent amount of time to try and get anything up, not only as, like, a general consumer does it piss me off, but it also pisses me off as a review channel, and I just, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not here for it, like, in terms of that, but I gotta say, okay, if, if there was one that I was considering picking up, it would probably be this one, uh, because I do really, like, I'm just, I'm kind of drawn to it in, like, some kind of way, but the reality is I will more than likely forget, and I won't end up picking it up, and that's <laughs> totally fine. You guys, with that, we are officially done. That brings the video to a close. Um, at this point, I feel like we have touched on so many new launches. We have, you know, just, we've had so many conversations. So make sure to leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments, whether it is on um, anything I talked about, anything that you did pick up, 
launches you're excited about, anything like that. Again, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And then as I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would really appreciate. And I think that that is everything. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!